this is basically the end of one country, two system, because um, there is no more two system, no more firewall between uh, the system in Hong Kong and in China. And it's basically merged with uh, the implementation of uh, the national security law. So I think the international community should recognize that and adopt a relevant mechanism to hold China accountable. China is a growing giant country that pays no respect to the human rights of its people. So I think the future is grim. But I think for the past year, we saw the unity of Hong Kong people and we saw changes. And seeing such a large amount of people sharing the same values with you and conquering all the difficulties, supporting the values that they treasure with high price. And that is something that makes you feel hopeful, even though there's like a spark in the darkest time. The demonstration uh, on 1st of July, which was the first day of the implementation of the national security law, actually encouraged a lot of Hong Kong people. There were hundreds of thousands of people marching down the street, uh, regardless of the risk of being uh, sentenced for years of imprisonment. And they chanted the slogan and they uh, stood in solidarity. So I think um, there is certain tenacity inside Hong Kong democratic movement, uh, regardless of uh, the how large the suppression is.